Hi, we're live at uh, Web Summit in Lisbon and um, we're at the Cisco stand 875. Um, we're here with Cici Gui, who's Vice President of uh, Cisco Systems and founder of DevNet. So can you tell us a little bit about um, the, this developer's program and why this is so exciting for developers? Sure, yeah, so uh, DevNet is Cisco's developer program. And what's exciting is that we treat our developer program not only as a developer program, but also as an innovation program. So basically what we're doing is taking all of Cisco's products and platforms, exposing their APIs to developers, and then allowing developers to create amazing innovations on top of our platforms. And uh, my team and I is full of developer evangelists, developers themselves, you know, marketing folks, all sorts of people. And really we're all about helping developers be successful in their business. Great. Um, what unique technologies does Cisco um, have in place of, like for startups and um, developers to take advantage of? Yeah, so we have a number of Cisco products that are really interesting for developers and ones that app developers might not have thought of in the past. So uh, one thing is that we have, of course, all of our networking equipment, and our networking equipment is pretty much connecting the entire world. So, you know, Cisco's networking equipment actually really helped start the World Wide Web, you know, is before, imagine the world before the World Wide Web and afterwards, yeah. and now we have Web Summit, right? So, uh, but the thing that's interesting about the network is that the network is advancing. The network doesn't just stay the same, it doesn't just provide connectivity, it's advancing. The network now has APIs, and the network actually allows developers to use those APIs in ways they've probably never thought of. So some of our products are something like Cisco Meraki, or Cisco Wireless Solutions. You think that there's wireless access points around the world, and Cisco sells these wireless access points, and you say, yeah, that's fine, they provide me connectivity. But the interesting thing is, those wireless access points know a lot about what's going on. They know how many people have come in with mobile devices, how many people are new, or how many have been here before. And then there's APIs for developers to use that information. Those wireless access points know where people are indoors using Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, and that can give developers really interesting information. So um, app developers can actually expose APIs from wireless systems that actually tell them a lot about people and make really incredible innovations. Uh, in addition to you know wireless networking, we also have, of course, hardcore wired networking. Uh, in addition, uh, data center and cloud we have Internet of Things solutions that allow people to connect their things to the network and process them, uh, and collaboration solutions as well, like Cisco Spark. Yeah. So lots of exciting uh, technologies for developers to innovate on top of. That's great, and some of them which we have here today, which is yes. really great. Um, how does this differ from, differ from innovations in other communities? Yeah, so there's other developer programs that are out there, and amazing developer programs. Many of them are really predominantly for software platforms. What's interesting is that it's fantastic to develop software for the web, develop software using different you know, cloud services and things there, and we think that that's really important. In addition, what we offer developers, though, is also a way to connect in to the environment around them and to the infrastructure around them. So you can actually connect to physical things, you can connect to wireless, you can connect to video conferencing or voice over IP phones. So the fact that you can actually uh, do more and you can uh, connect to kind of physical things is really important. In addition, our developer program is for both application developers as well as kind of network operators or infrastructure and IT engineers. And so what happens is People who are connecting the world and like creating these networks and managing them can use a programmable network and use DevNet to learn about how to have a programmable infrastructure. And this helps people create DevOps tools, so DevOps professionals can actually really use those APIs to you know, optimize those pipelines for cloud applications, uh, as well as for your enterprise business applications. That's great. Um, what, are the, what are the exciting things Cisco is doing for developers? Cisco has lots of things in place, so and especially with Cisco DevNet for developers. Uh, what we have is we have lots of uh, learning resources. So we at developer.cisco.com, we have free resources for people to come in and learn how to code, and if they already know how to code, which many of them do, to learn how to use the latest uh, you know, Kubernetes and cloud platforms, and then do that on top of different types of infrastructure. 
we have uh, you know resources for people that come in and uh, we have something called the DevNet Sandbox. This is where developers might say, well, I would like to write an application for a contact center, but I don't own a contact center. <laughs> or I would like to write an application that helps people do DevOps, but I don't own a full DevOps infrastructure yeah. or a network automation software. We actually have that kit for people in our DevNet Sandbox, so people can come in and code as easily on hardware as they do in software, but they'll use our hardware in our DevNet Sandbox, so they can make reservations and use it all for free. So we can actually kind of empower developers to do that. And what's cool is, once a developer has tested their app in our infrastructure and in our Sandbox, then what they know is they'll know that their app works in all of our customers' environments. So our customers, you know, for example, Web Summit is our customer, and much of the infrastructure here is running on Cisco wireless products. Their app would work here, right? So it can also work in hospitals and shopping malls, just in enterprises. It's amazing. That's so great. Um, what partnerships does Cisco have with other companies? So an important thing about DevNet and about developers in general is that it's really not just about a developer working with one company. Yeah. It's about the modern ecosystem. And a developer wants their apps to work with many different areas and use all the resources available to them. And we fully support this. We fully support open systems. We support an open ecosystem. A couple partnerships that we have is a partnership with Apple. So for instance, mobile developers are writing iOS apps all the time. Now, a lot of times you'll end up with that poor connection, and you're like, ah, I have a poor connection. What is that? That's an interesting way that just your application and your network are not working well together. So you can actually improve that by writing a few lines of code in your iOS app that tell the network, treat me well. I'm a voice video app, I have real-time uh, video, send it in the fast lane. Yeah. So we actually have a program together with Apple where in DevNet, what we'll do is we'll fast lane validate a mobile developer's iOS app. And then, for example, a hospital or like one of these Cisco customers will know that these apps will work better in my venue. And then imagine that a hospital could say, you know, hey, this is a patient, this is a critical patient monitoring app yeah. that needs to be in the highest quality possible. Whereas this is just a guest Wi-Fi service, and it can actually optimize those accordingly. Um, another partnership that we have is with Google. <laughs> so one big interesting thing for Google is that we actually have cloud development, and as we're developing, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so one thing that we have with Google is that app developers want to, of course, develop cloud services and use all the cloud services available, but they also would want to access enterprise information that's behind an enterprise application. So what we have are technologies that will help bring together the world of enterprise data and enterprise applications that are often protected in a private cloud or in a data center, but also be able to mix that with the power of cloud services that are available in the public cloud. But we create the infrastructure at the network layer to make that possible. And in our partnership with Google, we're providing resources that will allow this kind of hybrid cloud or multi-cloud development to exist. So, um, you know, working with Apple, working with Google, doing all this so that developers can use our products together yeah. and participate in this ecosystem is super important, and I hope our developers are going to find this really interesting. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Um, what unique resources does Cisco have in place that startups and developers can take advantage of? So, you know, a really interesting thing is that um, Cisco can actually help startups uh, and help you know entrepreneurs or just software developers in general make their software available in these business environments. And so, um, you know, and uh, a developer might not know how to talk to a hotel chain, yeah. or it might not know how to get into an amusement park. But these are all places that work with Cisco all the time. So, uh, you know, as the software develops, we can actually provide that channel. So we have ways to actually, you know, kind of bring in bring in the software, you know, get to know the developer themselves yeah. and the entrepreneur, understand their software, and then try to help make some of those connections. Um, as the software progresses and gets to a good state, um, for select cases, what we can do is actually take that software and uh, bring it into Cisco's ecosystem and actually sell it through the Cisco price list and allow Cisco's channel around the world, but Cisco salespeople, but Cisco partners around the world to actually sell that software as well. 
So it's a very interesting way for, you know, as your software gets along to a, to a good state, to get amplification because, you know, a developer might not be able to reach the world. Um, and Cisco does, and we're going to help our developers do that. Yeah, that's so great. Um, so to remind everyone here um, at Web Summit, you're going to be talking tomorrow um, at 11.40 a.m., so everybody should go watch that. Um, can you give us a little taster of uh, what you'll be talking about? Yes, so uh, we have an exciting talk tomorrow that's coming up. It's actually on the rise of the network API. Uh, some of the things that we're talking about may not be obvious to app developers that, hey, there is a network. The network has APIs that can help your application. Um, and so what I'll be doing is talking about the big transition that's happening in the network itself to make it programmable, to give it APIs, that give it the flexibility to help developers, cloud developers, DevOps professionals in whole new ways. So we'll be talking about that transformation and you know, hoping that the world jumps in so that we can create innovations together. That's so great. So I look forward to hearing your uh, talk tomorrow and lovely Thank speaking you. with you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Make sure you join DevNet.